Good day guys, Bing here. Um, today we're going to uh, try to fix a, 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 a issue. So if you look at this, so um, so this is so these are some faces, mass. Okay, so and then uh, divided a surface. And so sometimes you will have this issue. So it won't you won't be able to you know match the pattern so what do we do so we can actually make this uh, into just one piece so one piece of a uh, surface so first let's just uh, try to model this okay so uh, let's do it so uh, let me just close this okay so first uh, maybe we can create a let's create a mass conceptual mass okay so and okay so here so what I'm going to do is I'll draw some reference line first it will be uh, it will be so one two and three so this will be the path of this uh, shape okay so I'll use a reference line so one and another one here and then I'm going to use this okay so I fill it back so this will give us so the tangent uh, uh, arc okay so now we have this one two three so uh, uh, the the path and then we're going to create a profile so this profile so will be something like this okay so in an arc as well so uh, I'm going to just draw uh, place a point okay place a point on this reference line and then I'm going to just draw a reference line as a uh, as a profile but use a draw on word plan and a set word plan onto this so see this vertical vertical work word plan of this point so now we can uh, choose a, an arc so I'll use this one go from here go up so roughly uh, maybe here and then that's it so now we have this is a profile so this is the path so select both of them and create a form um, okay so it looks like uh, an open profile so uh, okay so that won't work maybe we need to create an, a closed profile so I'm going to use offset OF and let me just um, offset it by maybe 300 so 300 and then I'll just draw line draw another reference line so another two reference line to close this profile so uh, if you find yourself if you find it's hard to pick the point so you can type se so this will snap the end point okay so you can do it here as well se so you'll see you just need to move to here so it will automatically pick the uh, end point se and that's it so we have a close now we have a, a a closed uh, profile so let's try it okay a pros closed profile with the path create the yeah that's it okay so now if I tab select this face control select control select so now we sell we we have this one two three face as selected so if we use divided surface and we change to um, change to okay so um, how how do we pronounce this R rhomboid <laughs> right okay so now let's have a look so okay so actually this is quite interesting actually these pattern match on this edge I'm not sure why <laughs> Um, anyway, so let me just change the this to instead of because currently it's ten or it's all fixed number. It's all fixed number. So if we change this one instead of fixed number, let's try. Um, 
maximum spacing. Let's try maximum spacing. And let me have a look of this one, 2.5. So these are 2.7. So maybe we can just select all of them. I'll just type in 2400 for both grids. Okay, so 2400. Okay, so now you will see this is the issue here. So your current uh, here, this one's all good, but here, so it's not matching. So yeah, it's probably, um, yeah, depending up, up because of the the size of this and also the the grids, the size of the grids, the spacing of the grids. So how do we uh, fix this? So I, I don't think this is an easy fix. You, you probably you can try to adjust this by no a little bit. Uh, well, sorry, not this one. Looks like it's not this one. Maybe it's this one. Oh, interesting. It matches. <laughs> anyway, um, so maybe this is a way to you can somehow match the pattern, but I'm actually I'm not sure why here it's not matching. Maybe because because the uh, the profile is not uh, the same, but here actually I'm going to show you another method. So to not only to match the pattern, we're also going to make this one just one piece. Okay, so one piece. Uh, so okay, so now let's just um, I'm going to del delete delete this, delete this, do this, delete this form only have this so this uh, pro uh, uh, path and this profile so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a a um, instead of three so this one's line straight line and arc instead of three different part uh, part I'm going to create a this spline through points and also actually hang on Actually, uh, it's easier. Uh, maybe I'll just use point. Okay, so I'll just place some point and then connect them to create a spline through points. So first, I'm going to place one point here. Okay, so at this point, and another point here. Okay, so at this end, and another point here, and another point here. So now we have one, two. So if of course, if we connect one, two, three, four, four points, this is not what we uh, want, right? So let me control Z. So what we need is we need straight here, straight here, and then almost an arc. So what can we do? How can we do it? So let's go to a uh, top view. So I'm going to select this point. I'll use CC copy. I'll copy it to this direction by one. And also this one, CC, copy this to the opposite direction, one. Same, this one, CC, up, one. This one, CC, down, one. And also, let's have a try. So two points, control, four, six, eight. So if I create a spline, it's close to this so you will see this blue color but still we need one more point okay so let's control z and place another point and draw on face uh it looks like we need to rotate a little bit yeah so now we can place another point so draw on face and place it on this uh, midpoint so now we have nine points so one two three four five six uh seven eight nine and create a spline here so spline through points so now you will see this blue color is very close to the original so uh, lines and arc okay it's very close so now what we can do is so i'm going to select this point okay so this point this point is, be, is is placed onto this straight line. I'm going to just um, try to place it onto this spline. So I'll use pick new host and place it on this arc. 
oh sorry not not arc on this spline okay so this one so you will see that it will highlight this spline become blue so which means this is correct one and yeah that, that will be fine i'll click ok so it looks like it rotate about 90 degree but that's fine so we can just select try to select this point so here and we can rotate it okay so 90 uh, negative 90 so now that's uh, same to the previous one so now we can select this form oh sorry select this uh, closed profile and together with this spline and create a form so now you will see this is a one piece of face okay and then if we select this and divide the surface and go to uh, um, rhomboid so you will see that's it will be perfect so you won't see any lines you don't you don't need to worry about or oh, you know that the pat to ma uh, to match the patterns so you just need to adjust uh, let me just change this to maximum spacing maximum spacing 2400 and 2400 okay so then um that's it okay so that's that's it um if you have any question please let me know i'll see you next time Thank you. Bye.